Star Wars fans, what do you want? The discourse with Star Wars fans is a perpetual cycle. Uh, the movies, whether anyone wants to admit it or not, are made for 12-year-olds. George <laughs> Lucas himself has said this. They are movies made for 12-year-olds. The repeating cycle here is that the 12-year-olds see the newest Star Wars thing, and they like it. They think this is pretty cool. Then those kids grow up. <laughs> and now the next generation of Star Wars stuff comes out. The sequel trilogy, the prequel trilogy, Solo, and the Disney Plus series, whatever it is. And they all watch that thing because they're like, oh, I remember this when I was 12 years old. I, I watched this 300 times. Let me watch it again. It's going to be so good. And then all of a sudden they realize this feels like a thing that's made for 12 year olds. <laughs> and there is not a hint of irony in anything that they say from that point forward where they're like, you know, maybe I grew and this show is still made for the same demographic. So then they hate the new thing. And then the kids that are watching the new thing say, this is pretty cool. I like this. <laughs> and then the cycle repeats. It happened. I remember back in the day, Return of the Jedi was the bad one. Oh my and God. no one remembers this. Like, everyone was so pissed at the Ewoks. <laughs> so, oh, I do remember that. It, he is right. Yes. Right? And then the prequel trilogy. How many, like, the Red Letter Media re reviews of the prequel trilogy that everyone saw in the early 2000s, the songs, the parodies, everyone hated the prequels. Now they love it. But now, look at this, Kenobi, everybody's saying, where's more Clone Wars flashbacks? <laughs> where's more Hayden Christensen? Well, in this 15 is a perpetual years... cycle of Star Wars discourse that has never gotten any better, has always been repeating. It's the third generation that's it's done It's really so. frustrating, though, because it's like... I feel we're lucky to have something that we all love so much mm -hmm. that they keep giving us more of and really good stuff. This is the best analogy I heard about this. So like, oh, when I was 12 years old, you gave me $100. I, lo I love that. And now we're adults and, and Disney's like, here's $100. And we're like, it could have been $140. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's perfect. Because you know how to love me like a nerd.